In a nation at ground zero of the continuing war on terrorism, business development would seem to be the furthest thing from anyone's mind. But despite the presence of American troops, Al-Qaeda operatives, and a daily roll call of violence, Afghanistan's leadership is hustling to make economic strides. With improve, uh, improving security, we have uh, many areas uh, for investors to consider. When it comes to sustaining peace in Afghanistan, economics are considered a key factor. Unless there are companies willing to come forth and do business in a growing market like Afghanistan, you will never make headway. Its location gives the country the potential to become a strong business hub, anchoring emerging markets in Europe, India, China and Central Asia. We have uh, good opportunities to explore and exploit our natural resources, uh, which means, uh, co which means uh, ga natural gas, petroleum products and, and iron ore, which we have excellent quality. The Afghanistan Investment Support Agency, or ISA, was formed to attract foreign money to prime economic growth and generate employment. But while ISA claims $500 million of exports, the import level is still 10 times that. This by itself offers an opportunity for those investors to, uh, to grasp this opportunity, invest in Afghanistan today, and I believe they will be ahead of the game. Legislation signed by Afghan President Hamid Karzai provides for the non-discrimination of foreign investment and allows 100 percent foreign ownership. As a hedge against continuing regional conflicts, the World Bank Group's Multilateral Investment Guarantee Agency ensures against major political risks. Afghan banks are also helping prime the pump with preferred financing rates and structuring loans for new equipment and production facilities to assure high return on investments. Our average growth has been 17 percent for the past four and a half years. Our inflation has dropped from 48 percent to 28 and, uh, and to 16, and last year we closed at 9.5%. Uh, if you had to move your scarce capital and resources into like-minded, similar terrain, high jurisdiction, post-conflict countries, I can tell you with certainty that your, your money will run the longest here. Major corporations are taking advantage of the new business climate. It's immense. Um, Toyota, um, Tata, and, and soon Nestle um, will be on the ground. Coca-Cola is already here, they are producing. Uh, they have taken almost uh, all, most of the uh, Coke products or uh, non-alcoholic beverages imported in Afghanistan. As the economic rebirth continues, downtown Kabul welcomes foreign business executives to its five-star Serena Hotel. Recent investments in the construction, textile, agribusiness and food processing industries have resulted in significant returns. A growing fleet of international airlines have resumed regular service to Kabul and business growth includes 20 modern industrial park areas where inexpensive labor makes Afghanistan a solid outsourcing option. On the high-tech side, the mobile telecom industry is soaring, with private operators landing 800,000 prepaid customers in little more than two years. There are uh, dozens of major investors who have invested millions of dollars and are still investing millions of dollars. Um, so those who have come to Afghanistan have seen it. They are convinced that the security problem is not to the extent that they would prevent them from securing uh, um, business opportunities in this country. The fast pace of the new business model reminds locals of Buskashi, a traditional Afghan test of mobility, strength and stamina. Exactly what's needed to transform Afghanistan from an old world center to a hub of modern commerce.